Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Arr! Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you'd ask it for it. Yeah! Okay, so, time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. <laughs> It. My lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was he? In here. <laughs> and you'll stay in there if you know what's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Ah! No! Not sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Um, don't overdo it. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. Ah, ah, something's grabbed us. Oh, you mustn't leave yet. We haven't been properly introduced. You're that giant siphonophore. We are the giant siphonophore. Uh, we look like one big creature, but we're actually a group of smaller creatures. We work together, see? Each of us has a special job to do. Some of us can light up. Once you follow our lights and get close enough, then... We do our jobs. We get our hooks in your sea. And then we use our powerful stingers to sting you. Like this. What's wrong? What's the problem? What's stinging? What's talking? Our deep sea suits are too thick for their stingers to get through. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't sting us, you scurvy beasties! Bah, this is shocking. Our plan is perfect. Lights, hooks, stingers. Dinner! Well, you won't be having us for dinner, you giant siphonophore. Siphonophore! That's what I said. Another geezer. You've got to let us go and move away from here. Oh, we're not giving up that easily. But we're right on top of the... Ah! Shiver me whiskers, we're going up. And if you go up too high... We'll burst. Let's try to grab that ledge and pull us all off the geezer. Aye, unhook our arms. Good idea, see? nice of you to save us after our little dinner misunderstanding. There's the gun. I can't see Dashi or 
Quasi. And something else is on its way up. It's the Spawnerfall! Captain! <laughs> if the giant Siphonophore rises higher than the Octopod, it will burst! Then we'll have to find a way to stop it. Barnacles to tweak. Dashy, Quasi and the giant Siphonophore are trapped in a geezer. We need to keep them from going any higher than the octopod. And we need to do it now. Well, Cap, we could use the octopod's bubble engine to push them back down. Good plan, Tweet. Hurry. Got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Hi, Captain. We don't really have a choice. Tunip, while I put the bubble engine in reverse, you need to move the octopod so it's right over the trench. Just that, that button. Oh. We've got a big, big problem. Fish in the trees. Fish in the trees. Jumping jellyfish. The tidal bore must have thrown all the fish high up into the trees. Oh, no. That's not good for the fish. They need water to breathe. They do have some water. But not enough to last long. There now. Back in the river where you belong. But there are lots more stuck up high, really high in the trees. And that means trouble, big trouble for us poison dart frogs. Is it a Our eggs are about to hatch. And when they do... <gasps> you need the puddles of water up in the trees for the tadpoles. But why do they need puddles of water in the trees? When they hatch, they're not frogs yet. They're called tadpoles. They look like fish and swim in water. Right, exactly right. Each poodle makes a perfect little home for our tadpoles so they can swim around and stay safe. But now, all the puddles up in the trees are full of fish. We need to get the fish out of the trees and make room for the tadpoles. And fast. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the tidal bore has swept fish high into the trees. Our mission is to get them out of the trees and back into the water. I'm ready to climb the highest tree, Captain. Trees in the Amazon are very tall, Quasi. It could take a long time to climb from the bottom to the top. Hmm, we need a faster way. Tweak, what do you think? The Gar Beach is ready, Cap. Then meet us here at the rescue site as fast as you can. Time to launch the Gar Beach, Tunip. Let's rescue the fish that are stuck in the lower branches of the trees. Robert, Robert, will you and the other poison dart frogs help us find all the stranded fish?